Can you clap it for us? What does yeah. that mean? Do a little thing. No, make it. Yeah. Well, I entered this world as a little girl who parents wanted after they had a son. And I came nine years later, and that's the reason why they named me Joy. I believe I've been aptly named because there is every day in my heart uh, joy, and I can feel it very intensely. The world to me is the constant contact with human beings and what that makes me feel and hopefully what I can let them feel and continuing the contact and the connection with that human being. I grew up in San Francisco in the Marina District. I had a mother and father who, for them, quality was important. And each day when I saw him making the shoes and my mother being a part of that, I felt a sense of commitment to them to what they were doing every day. And we had a, a home where it provided us safety and stability and human connection. The whole civilization now seems to be built on not connecting with people. And for me, one human being is so important, who they are, from whence they came. And now we're able to do that here at the Couture House. Hello, welcome to Helper's House of Couture. Come on in. This was a home for many, many years for people who are developmentally disabled. Now it has been converted into a house where we sell phenomenal clothes of, I would say, seven, eight decades up to the present through Tom Ford and Ralph Rucci. This is a room of women who have donated to us their treasures, and the profits do go to helping those who are the developmentally disabled. It wasn't until a great tragedy in my life, I guess in my late 60s, that I realized that God had chosen me for this work because I'd been with helpers from 13 years of age until my present age, which is 76. And I don't want that to fool anyone because inside my heart, I still think I'm 15 love this hat. Everybody laughs and says, oh no, you can't put a hat on like that. But this is how we wore it. I've got to see how beautiful I look in this. Let me see. Yeah, I think this is fabulous. Love it. Love it. I can't wear this shoe, but I close my eyes and I just dream about the outfit that would go with this. As I'm reaching the time in my life where I don't have much longer, I think to myself about my treasures and I pray every day that, that there will be someone here that will be as passionate and gets as excited about color and texture and about 200 hats coming into our world. And the idea that those 200 hats we're gonna be able to match to different women and they're going to go to the occasions all around the world because of this first woman that made this initial feeling that she wanted to connect to this organization. And then before we know it, we have a child that has helped because of her 200 hats. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with appendiceal cancer. They told my children it was incurable and untreatable. One nurse came in and told me I had two weeks to live. Well, I went to St. Dominic's Church and I had no desire to die. I, it was just out of my league. I had to live. I love it too much. So when I went into surgery, when I was going to sleep under the anesthetic, I started just dreaming about Ralph Rucci's clothing or Tom Ford and pictured myself going to an event, a gala, in a new creation, and somehow I was creating them for them in my mind. It was something to look forward to. For someone else, it may be reading, it may be music. Fashion was one of the things that helped me continue the struggle, but I think we have to hold on to something so that we don't give up on this world, because as soon as we get up, then I do think we have a death sentence. 
and we have to enjoy this world of color and light and beauty and human beings as much as we can every day of our lives. And if we fall on the horse, and we are gonna go fall, there's gonna be some very dark times in our lives, but the realization that there is light at the end of the tunnel and we can get back on that horse. And fashion was an instrument for me of doing that. Have you made a difference in your own life? And have you made a difference in someone else's life? <laughs>